Portland's mayor first announced the emergency declaration in early February, aimed at moving homeless campers away from dangerous roadways. The declaration has been extended a few times since then. That's so the work can continue along Portland's 30 most dangerous streets called high crash corridors and near highways and interchanges controlled by ODOT. The state transportation agency has worked with the city for years on this, and the past two months have been productive, says ODOT's Don Hamilton. But it's a big problem, and it's a repeating problem, and it keeps on coming back. The biggest issue, as we've seen so tragically recently, is it's a danger to the people that are camping next to the highways. The most tragic recent example Hamilton is referring to happened in Salem last Sunday. A driver ran off the road and into a camp there, killing four and injuring two more. Here in Portland, the mayor's office released a list of 50 sites near roadways that have been cleared since the emergency declaration began. One, the northbound off-ramp from 205 to Powell Boulevard, has a few new or return visitors, but we've seen many more here in the past. And farther west, at 60th and Powell, we found a homeless camp that was on the list of cleared sites. But we checked. You, you've never moved? Nope. I've been here four years. Jamie Graham says nobody's told her to move, and next tent down. A lot of people just come and go. I don't know, but yeah, I think I've been here in this one spot for like a year and a half, yeah. Jeff Dennis says the same thing. Has the city come by here at all? No, no, they haven't. I haven't gotten, usually they put the, like the green papers on the thing and I haven't seen any of those. I've seen them like other places, but not here. Now we did ask Mayor Wheeler's office about that location at 60th at Powell. They say the, clamp, the camp was cleared on March 7th. So a difference there, but we could tell you, in any case, there are many more campers back at that location now. Back to you.